Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day... Today is officially day one of quarantine. I thought yesterday was day one and then I called the nurse. Uh, well, she called me and I was like, so today, does it count as day one or day zero? And she's like, no, because you came today, because you arrived today, it doesn't count as official quarantine. So we start today, guys, and it is breakfast time. I'm so excited. I've got it right here. Breakfast comes with a few different things, but yesterday when I called them, I actually told them I didn't need the yogurt because just because I knew I didn't want to eat yogurt today and I don't want to waste the food, so no yogurt today, but it does usually come with it. And they also give me the morning tea, which I might just eat now or I might eat later because it's already 11. <laughs> Very unproductive morning. First thing we have is a banana. We got, ooh. So I think yesterday we missed breakfast, but it was two safe, two Danish pastries. And today I believe we have a little muffin. And then this must be morning tea, which we will reveal later. Today's cereal was rice crisp. Oh, oh my gosh. I think I told the lady, I was like, oh, is it rice krispies? If it's rice krispies, it's okay. I'll just eat the fruit. Um, but she must have swapped it out. This I used to eat all the time uh, when I was in Australia. It's basically just like whole grain. At school, we used to do these competitions where we would eat these dry. This sounds really weird. If the science teacher decided to, you know, make class a little bit more fun, we would do a competition where we would try to eat the whole thing dry and it's just like eating cardboard. But I guess since it's here, we might as well eat this for breakfast. Let's just get everything and then we can get started. Okay, friends, I have got my bowl. Ooh, I'm so excited. They look like this, by the way. I never ate it when I was younger because uh, my parents didn't really buy it for me, but when I moved to Australia, it was the cheapest option that was healthy, so I ate a lot of it. They give us a whole carton of Enco Milk, which is a classic New Zealand milk brand. I can't believe it's, oh gosh. I'm gonna quickly cut up some banana with it. How do you open up your bananas, by the way? I know some people open up from the bottom. Okay, so the thing with wheat bakes is that you have to eat it super fast or else it's gonna go super smudgy and gross. Then we gotta eat this quick, guys. Mmm. <laughs> oh, you know, not a lot of flavor, but I do miss the taste. <laughs> I don't think many people overseas will actually like wheat bakes. I don't think I clarified yesterday that I'm actually not in Auckland, which is where I am from uh, in New Zealand. I'm actually in Hamilton because all the Auckland uh, Hotels were full so it was around a two-hour drive from the airport to uh, The Hamilton Airport, which is right next to our, uh, the place that I'm staying in right now They offered to drive us back to the airport, which is great So then whoever's coming to pick me up doesn't really have to drive all the way down to Hamilton because that's it's quite a trek so <laughs> The Weebix has already soaked up all the milk. If you've had Weebix before though, you know what to expect. And they also give us a lot of tea bags, so I made myself an Earl Grey tea. Mm. And the reason why I think this is gonna be filling me up just fine is because it's already it's already 11.30, so lunch is gonna be delivered in an hour. <laughs> I don't know if I'll have a bite of that muffin now or I'll save it for later. Because I also have morning tea, which isn't that muffin. There's a lot of food coming around, guys. If you wake up late, the schedule of food is just like all bundled into one and you're like, breakfast now, and then I have to eat morning tea, and then lunch is coming in like an hour. And also, all the food is free, if you guys are wondering. All the food that they're sending in uh, through the door is free, but we do get the option of ordering extra things, including burgers, fries, one flavor type of chips, alcoholic drinks, and coffee if you want it. But they give us instant coffee, so I might drink that instead. Breakfast today, no Tony Toe, uh, but hopefully he will join me for maybe dinner. I'm not sure. We did FaceTime this morning, but oh, speaking of the devil, I'm gonna eat my banana, drink my tea. I'm gonna see you at my next meal. It's lunchtime! Woo! Did you guys see my story where I literally heard them coming up the stairs and everyone was like, room service, thank you, room service, thank you, and I was like, yes. You guys know I just ate like an hour ago, but no shame, no game. This one today is the Cajun Spiced Chicken Wrap with Parmesan and a salad. And they also give me afternoon tea too. So again, 
we have my orange juice and for today's afternoon tea we have got chocolate cake oh look at that piece of beauty that we have this is a very very dense piece of chocolate cake but i'm not complaining because it's chocolate cake and here is the main event Who's excited for some chicken wrap? Oh my goodness. This smells amazing. Uh, I'm a little confused where the salad is, but there's a few pieces of green here, so I don't know if that's a salad. Or maybe it's inside the wrap? I'm not too sure. But the wrap itself, the tortilla, uh, feels very soft. This is the Cajun chicken wrap. Mm. Oh my, this wrap is actually um, really good. It's not too cheesy, which is amazing. And the coleslaw salad inside. And they toasted it too. Mm. Every day they're going to, we have to go down to the office space or where they greeted us and we have a daily checkup. And since my outdoor allocated time is from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, I have made my appointment with a nurse at 3.30 so I can update you at dinner time how that appointment goes. <laughs> the nurse mentioned that the first three days or so, the checkups are going to be a little bit more thorough, but then after that, it won't take as long. So today's one is just going to take around 15 minutes, I believe. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen or whether they're going to check up on us and i forgot to show you guys yesterday that we also get a massive welcome welcome pack the first thing that's in here is a hotel compendium oh gosh uh it's basically got a map of the hotel as well as a bunch of questions information that we might have all the extra and i guess all the extra food items that we can order this is a oh face mask do's and don'ts we've got a goodness this is Fully binded, guys. Can you see that? Well, this is information on, I guess, quarantine, tips on our well being and wellness. And if you're wondering what this says, it's Māori. So it's the other native language in New Zealand. We've got more welcome packs. Oh my goodness, look, they give us a, a little journal. And it's got the silver fan. She was like, Dear Diary, today I was very bored. The last thing we get is a pack of cards. I guess I can play with these by myself. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna continue eating my lunch and my orange juice. I've got MasterChef Australia on right now. I already watched it, but you know, great company whilst I've got no company. Hello, my friends. I've come back from my afternoon walk. I'm seeing the nurse in half an hour. Uh, I got kind of peckish, so I'm gonna try my savory muffin. This was supposed to be my morning tea this morning, but I'm just going to have it for my afternoon tea instead. I do not know what that green stuff is. It looks like spinach. don't know, but this is what it looks like. Uh, don't quite know what's happening, but let's, let's take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes slightly cheesy. It could be some kind of spinach and cheese muffin. I really can't figure this one out. Interesting. <laughs> Guys, it's dinner time. I am so hungry. I know I say that every single time, but I'm hungry. I was so excited to leave the chocolate cake for dessert. I was just holding it out and I was like, do not eat it, do not eat it, leave it for dessert. And so I've been waiting to eat dinner so we can have dessert. Okay, so first we have, again, orange juice. Don't worry, we're, we're, we're mixing it up tomorrow a little bit. As I told you last night, I've gone for the vegetarian option today. I also went for this option because it comes with a very special little side dish. Okay. Oh, it smells amazing already. So I guess this is what the bean and vegetable casserole looks like. Uh, it does look a little bit questionable on camera, but we don't know until we try it, so we can't judge just yet. And then with the casserole comes this very special side dish, which is <gasps> garlic bread. I know, I know. I've got two slices of garlic bread. I mean, it smells absolutely amazing, so I'm excited to eat it. So anyways, bon appetit, let's get 
started. Let's uh, let's try this out. <laughs> oh wow, that has a lot of flavor to it. I want to give you a little close up because it's actually packed with beans. Mmm, there's celery in here, I think. Capsicum. I feel like we should try it with the garlic bread. Should we just scoop it up and see what we get? Mmm, so good. I should I tell you guys about my my little nurse visit today? Only took overall around 10 minutes. And all that happened was I went downstairs to all the nurses. She just asked me a lot of questions, basically. Things like, do I have, am I feeling sick? Am I feeling okay? Any symptoms? Uh, have I been in contact with anyone? Where have I been in the past 24 hours besides uh, my room? So obviously things like going outside and exercising. But yeah, she just had to ask me twice. Took my temperature. And that was it. I thought they wanted to do more tests, but no. Just very basic procedure. Well, today's day one. I think on day three. I have to officially take the COVID test, which I've never actually done before. I'm not looking forward to it. I do know they put this cotton bud swab thing up your nose. Apparently you just instantly cry because it triggers the nerve up there. Mm, and I love how I always have it with orange juice. But tomorrow's not going to be OJ, so don't you worry. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to continue eating this dinner. I'll see you for dessert. Alright guys, I finished dinner. We're going to eat dessert now. Mr. Tony Toe is here. Hey, yo, what up? Woo! Are you going to eat the whole thing? No, I think I'm going to save some maybe for tomorrow. Because I told them not to give me a velvet, that we get red velvet cake tomorrow for afternoon tea and I told them I don't need it. Oh, I already showed you guys what this looked like in the afternoon. Oh, whoa. It is so moist and rich. Really? Mm-hmm. There you go. I don't know if you can see it, guys, but look at how moist that is. Whoa. Babe, do you see that? Oh, yeah. That actually looks really good. Right? I'm actually going to rip it. It's easy to rip off like this. Oh, this is a good dessert. I'm going to eat a little bit more. And then I'm going to save some for afternoon tea tomorrow. That is it for day one of quarantine food diaries. I'll be back tomorrow with day two. Would you like to say goodbye? Hey, uh, peace, uh, love, and deuces. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow.